When you first start out riding a PWC, there are a few things you really need to remember. As we've said before, riding a PWC correctly is really a combination of sailing, surfing and dirt bike riding, and that's why we recommend beginners stay in sheltered waters until they're confident of mastering the craft. By sheltered, we mean areas within bays and harbours that are protected from wind and swell and have relatively flat water. Rivers are flat but can be tricky due to the moving water and submerged items on rivers can mean a rider needs to react quickly. As a result, we recommend lakes as a great place for beginners to get started. Today we'll be covering some basics for you beginners out there including mirror and steering setup, positioning your feet correctly, correct throttle control, how to stop safely and some basic do's and don'ts. First, mirrors and steering. Although most skis these days have mirrors and adjustable steering fitted, most people don't take the time to set either correctly. Both should be adjusted either when the ski is on the trailer or when the ski is switched off in calm water. Mirrors are very important as out on the water they are a vital tool needed to monitor approaching boats or other craft. Usually when riding you won't hear these craft approaching and given there aren't any lines marked out on the water, monitoring your mirrors is crucial in preventing you having an accident. To adjust your mirrors, simply assume the position you will be spending most of the time on the ski. For 90% of riders that will be sitting down. Adjust the mirrors so you can see the tip of your shoulder. Obviously left shoulder in the left mirror and right shoulder in the right. If adjusting for standing position, you should be able to see between your thigh and elbow on either side. Steering adjustment is relatively simple. Just adjust the suit so your arms are comfortable. Ensure both arms have a slight bend and most importantly that your wrists are in line with your forearm and not bent. Once that's sorted, it's time to tackle positioning your feet. We recommend that when starting out, most beginner riders should stay seated as this position will mean you're more stable on the PWC and it's also much less fatiguing. There are two main positions that your feet can be in while riding, either feet forward or feet flat. Riding with your feet forward is more relaxing, which should only be used when the water is consistent and when you're sure you won't need to take any evasive action or stand up for any reason. This is because when your feet are forward, although beneficial for stopping, unless you have very strong core muscles, it's harder to stay balanced. When your feet are flat, your body is balanced and if necessary you can stand or manoeuvre quickly when required. Catch is though, when riding for long periods, this position can potentially be fatiguing for beginner riders. I've seen many beginner riders come in after a ride saying they have sore legs and are not sure why. Well, this is the reason. There's no hard or fast rule how much you should use each of these feet positions, but what's crucial is that you remember to use both constantly during a ride. You should reposition your feet all the time when you ride. Now on to throttle control. Most throttles on PWCs are either controlled by your thumb or forefinger, but regardless of make or model, all will be controlled by one finger alone. This can take some getting used to by the beginner rider and can lead to some common mistakes. The first is that most beginners treat the throttle like a switch, that's two settings only, on or off. This is obviously not advisable. Rather what you should remember is that the throttle should be gently squeezed, not pulled, as this will give you greater control of the PWC and reduce the risk of injury. It's also equally important to remember to throttle off smoothly also. The second thing to remember is, as strange as it sounds, try and separate the control of your throttle finger and the rest of your hand. What we mean by that is, sometimes beginners can panic if they get into trouble and naturally react by grabbing the bars tighter with their hands, often gripping the throttle also, applying power and getting into real trouble. So if possible, try and remember to separate the control of your throttle finger and the rest of your hand. Might sound difficult, but if practiced this will be second nature over time. Stopping is extremely important as surprisingly, this is where most people hurt themselves on PWCs. Stopping a PWC is totally unlike stopping any craft on land, as the drag of the water can have a drastic impact on the speed and severity of how you stop. It may seem elementary, but there are three key things for the beginner rider to remember and they need to be done in the following order. First, using your mirrors, look behind before you stop. You could be riding along thinking you're by yourself, but unknown to you, someone is behind you. If you stop, most likely they won't until they've hit you. So as a rule, get used to always checking your mirrors before you stop. Second thing is move your feet. As shown earlier, make sure you move your feet to the brace position, as this will counteract the forces that will otherwise throw you over the front of the craft. It's also a good idea to brace your arms slightly too. Lastly, again as stated earlier, always remember to throttle off slowly and smoothly at all times. 
a quick release of the throttle will have practically the same impact as dropping an anchor, as the drag of the water will stop the craft very, very quickly. This will either throw you into the handlebars, or worse, put you over the front. Believe me, neither is very much fun. We recommend the beginners ride only in sheltered, protected waters until you've mastered many of the tips mentioned today, or ridden for a minimum of 30 to 50 hours. Alternately, make sure you only go with experienced open water riders who are capable of dealing with any potential mishaps. Remember, practice makes perfect and always have fun.